What's up guys, Adrian with Scrape Creators, and I just built an endpoint to scrape ads from the Google Ad Transparency Library. So let me show you that now. So say you wanna get all the ads that Lululemon is running, and we want to say anywhere, not just the United States. So you can search by domain lululemon.com, and the ads will show up. Now, we can't scrape all of the ads, only the ones that are public. So if you're not logged in, if you're in an incognito browser, those are the ones that we can get. So if you're signed in, you can see more and we can't get those, those ads. Yeah. So then you can see all of their ads, not super useful, a lot of just uh, copy, but yeah, if you wanted like this creative, then you can get that or this video. So, Let's go ahead and do that. So what's nice with Scrape Creators, you can just do the same thing. You just need a domain and you can find their ads. So we're gonna scroll, we're gonna go down here to Google Ad Transparency. We also have the Facebook ad library if you want that. So for company ads, yep, the default is just a little lemon. So we just have to enter that, run the request, and then boom, get their ads. Lots and lots of ads. And then if you want to paginate, you just need this cursor and then you put it in the uh, next request. So I make it pretty easy for you. So you just have to copy that value and then paste it. And then to see how to make the request, then you can just come up here. So it's curl node Python. And then you have, yeah, the information right here. So then you run the request and you get more. Let's go back to the first page. So you get the add URL which is pretty useful. If we wanted to add details, then we just need to grab that and then get the add details. Let's see if we can find this one though. Uh, copy link address, whoa. Copy link address. Whoa, what in the world are you doing that for? So we need to get rid of some of the params. Boom, oh, first one, let's go. So then let's go up here to add details and then run the request after we input the URL and then boom. So not uh, too many useful things. We have last shown, but they don't have the overall impressions, which is lame. And then you have all these different variations and the copy. So you have the destination URL, which looks like I might need to change that. Yeah, because that character probably shouldn't be there, but let's, can we go there if we copy and paste? I guess it works. All right. Um, yeah, so then we have headline and description, dance and lightweight sweat wicking gear. Uh, dance and lightweight sweat wicking gear that keeps distractions outside in studio, breathable and abrasion, blah, 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 blah. So interesting that they added breathable abrasion resistant. But yeah, you can get the copy, which is not super interesting. Let's see if we can get the video. We wanted the video. Then we get the regions, not many stats. And then, yeah, you can actually get the video right here. And you get destination URL title, description, whatever. So let's see if we can. Yeah, and I don't have wrapping in the app, which I probably need to fix. And. Yeah, so if you want the video, you can download that, save that for later, put it in your database, whatever. And yeah, so that's all, that's all for Lululemon. Let's say we want to search for uh, foreplay.co, which is um, saves ads from all these ad, ad libraries. So it makes sense that we're scraping this stuff. They could use the service if they wanted. So let's say we have um, these different ads. And then what's nice about these ones is they actually show the impressions, which not I'm not sure why the other ones don't. You can see first shown and last shown. So let's copy that URL, paste it, run the request. And yeah, what's nice, you can see the overall impressions, all of the regions that it was in, and then the specific region stats, and then even the platform specific stats also. 
And then the variations. So like I said before, you can get that URL of the video as well as like, yeah, you have the destination URL and then their copy. So headline description and call to action. So yeah, a lot of really great data. Yeah. If they expose it that you can get from here as well as yeah, the Facebook ad library, as well as you can scrape, you know, a bunch of stuff from like TikTok, all this stuff as well. So check it out. Scrapecreators.com sign up app.scrapecreators.com. Peace.